This is Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. They're closing grain and livestock comments for July 8th, 2016. Corn market here on the day up 13 to 14, beans up 32 to 35, wheat market up 3 to 10, depending on which market you were looking at. Minneapolis is the weaker of the markets, but still a positive day for the grains on the week. Corn market down three and a quarter, beans down 79 cents, and wheat up four cents on the week. Uh, so more or less a negative week for soybeans, corn and wheat more chopped as they were on the bottom end of the range. We got good closes on Friday, and that's partly because of the ridge building. Uh, there's some Potential, the 16th through the 25th of July here that we could have some ridge develop bringing in some uh, more extreme heat and potentially a little less precipitation than what the models uh, were calling for here the last day or two. Now we've gotten some very good precipitation. We've got some more on the way over the next five days and then the big question mark. So Sunday night trade looks to be very active based off some of these weather forecasts and be very important to next week's trade along with the USDA crop report on Tuesday where the market's expecting a little bit of decline in soybean carryout and a little bit of growth in the corn carryout. Uh, Going to be very important as to what they do with yield. I don't think they do much here yet in July. I do look for maybe a little bit of growth in August, but that's going to depend a lot on weather here as we work ahead. On the uh, cattle side of things, feeder cattle on the day mix, live cattle up 10 to 50, and the hog market down anywhere from 87 and a half to 130. On the week, feeder cattle up $1, live cattle down 75 cents, and the hog market down 262 and a half. Starting with the hogs, we're looking at a situation here where we're just not seeing that excessive pickup uh, from Chinese export or exports to China and that uh, was really kind of the hopes and aspirations of this hog market. We built this rally off of uh, strong exports and we needed to continue to see them. We're not seeing that. Uh, so a bit of pressure there over in the cattle market here. Really need a live cattle bid in the cash markets. We're just not coming together with getting that cash undertone strong and that's what's limiting our potential to extend there. This has been Jim Emter, Van Anna Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation.